So I'm George Catalagaria Naik, so I work in the European Commission, as you said, uh, the Directorate General for Research, the Nanotechnology Program, and I'm behind this old nano safety uh, program that this day is all about. So that's about uh, 25 million uh, euro per year program, and um, it's a world class. We have a very considerable international cooperation on this, and it really affects a very big amount of sectors in industry. So that's what I do. In general, nanotechnology is really a, a, a number of technologies. It's not only one, which address many sectors, the classical industrial materials, but also food, cosmetics, uh, biocides, the pharma industry, medical devices. So a whole industry is using nanotechnology and progressing from this. From this. So we hope that we'll industrialize Europe again, uh, make technologies that will profit for the citizen and the society, and uh, assist in this way the well-being and the progress, technological progress, all over Europe. Uh, now materials and nanotechnologies in general are a new set of technologies which are very, very promising. They affect a number of sectors, uh, like the industrial materials one, like food, cosmetics, biocides, pharma industry, medical devices. So all these come together. The, the whole effort is expected to help industrialize Europe again and in this way promote the well-being, promote employment and technological progress all over Europe. The potential risk from these now technologies, as a matter of fact from any new technologies, is something that is far better to address in the beginning than at the end. Imagine if you build this building and after finishing it you ask if it is earthquake safe. Uh, that's not logical. You built it so that it's earthquake safe. And the same applies for fire safety and the same applies for a number of other electricity or gas installation. They are all managed in the same way. So we built our materials and our processes safe from start. And for nano, because they are nano, because they are new, we need to learn how to do it. It's not easy, it's not simple, it needs science, it needs technology. That's why we are here for.